All right. Okay, guys. So this morning, we have a circuit of five exercises. Um, and the timer, the, the timer that I um, kind of set for us here is, is going to be a 40 work, 20 rest timer. Um, and I want it to be in kind of with the mindset of it, it's ten, a tentative 40, 20. Um, if, if you have heavier weights, I would like you to challenge yourself um, where you're lifting heavy. Um, but knowing that you might not be able to make it the whole 40 seconds. And so like, if you, if you have a really heavy weight for one of the exercises and you're like, this is a big challenge for me, um, you, you may only get 30 seconds of work done and you may, might be like, wow, I need to stop and rest. Um, that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that at least everybody who is doing this, um, regardless of if they have heavy weight or not, is able to still have a hard workout. Um, so if that's, if that's you, if you have heavy weight, like a heavy weight near you that you can challenge yourself with for these lifts, definitely do it. And just when you're like, oh my gosh, that was for sure the last rep that I should, should do and I should rest, um, do it. Obviously don't, don't, don't wimp out at like 15 seconds or something like that and rest for, I don't know. Yeah. 45 seconds. But like, um, do make, try, do really try to push yourself for these. Um, cool. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there for this one. Um, just so, cause we don't get a lot of challenge, like chances of where we can like program strength into these too much. Um, cool. So with that, the exercises are first one is a deadlift. So, um, it all depends on what you got. Um, so if you have a, like a one dumbbell, I'm probably going to have you doing like a, like, and you can see me here, like a sumo, sumo deadlift like this here. All right, so wide stance, hinged, and coming up, put your hands together. If you have two, two dumbbells, you'll be, have one basically lined up with each, each foot. Feet will be pretty much normal for this one. And same, same concept, keeping that flat back. Um, kind of the beauty of some of these home workouts is like when you're doing deadlifts like this, um, if you're doing it with dumbbells, you're forced to go super deep. Um, if you got a kettlebell, that's fine too. Um, yeah, do it, just do kettlebell deadlifts. If you want to make your kettlebell harder and you have a band, wrap a band around it, um, do deadlifts like that. If you just have a band, do band deadlifts and go super wide and then and grab use the wider you go for those um the wider you step out on the band the harder it's going to be to pull it up um so that's deadlifts that's the first one um after that two second or two point row with a hold um so what that's going to be so it's our stance elbow on our knee weight here rolling back or rolling back as far as you can and squeezing one two and then letting it down one, two, making sure that, that our elbows come back, that our, our shoulders staying down, that we're not doing one of these things. I think it's like tempting to want to like do this instead of that. Um, yeah, the big, yeah, the big muscle of our back, the main, main, main big muscle of our back, our lats works when that elbow is, is pulled kind of down and and back so make sure you're using the lats um awesome that's two point row you can do a banded two point where you're stepping on the band um yeah just using whatever you got and then after that it'll be a rack squat pause so if you have two weights you will rack both of them you'll squat down one two and then come back up, one, two, and come back up. Um, and so we're just gonna work in that extra, um, extra bit of stability strength at the very bottom of the movement, usually the weakest part of the movement. Um, and then coming back up, it just makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, obviously, if you don't have two weights, have you weighed right in front of you. Um, 
I mean, for this one, it would it makes it more challenging to have it like this versus tight like a goblet hold. So if you can hold that here, but obviously if the weight's weird or something, you can totally hold it goblet. That's that's fine. Um, just as long as you're getting that pause at the bottom, um, stuff like that. All right, cool. Then number three here. All right, so this is kind of a, a core and shoulder exercise. So what we got now is pike to pike position push up. So you got your sliders. Um, awesome. If you don't, go get them. Um, but this is going to be a little shift in a kind of an angled position here. So piking, pike position push up, hold the bottom, and come up. Pike. Down, hold one, two. Um, if if the hold at the bottom, where you're in your pike position, and you're coming down, if that is too hard, you're like not able to come up. Just do the regular push up. I just wanted to add that hold in for anybody who um are like pike position push ups are way too easy, um, and it'll make them way harder. So that'll be an alternative for that. If um if Let's see here. Um, yeah, hopefully, if you don't have sliders or you don't have a good alternative for sliders, I'd be fine with you just doing the pike position push-ups. Um, or even if you didn't have sliders, if you did something like, you know, you could be here, do a push-up, jump out, jump in. All right. So we call them we call those frog jumps when you do that, but. Um, that could be an alternative to if you don't have a good slider situation. Um, cool. And then fifth and final exercise for our core here is going to be get up, sit ups. So um, you'll get your weight. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see me. Kind of. You're just sitting up, driving your elbow into the ground, and trying to keep that arm as vertical as you can um and we're just getting getting it done like that if you have um if you're not you know super good at these just choose body weight um but obviously if you need that challenge add weight um let's see here i'll be trying to shout out when midpoints are for each one of these or specifically for the single-sided exercises like the two-point rows and the get up sit up so um just be listening for that if you wanna, if you don't wanna have to think about it too much. Um, awesome, so that is what the workout's gonna be. Let's get warmed up. So I am gonna have a start here with some Spider-Mans with rotations. So we'll hop back. All right. And we're gonna step, rotate, down and switch, step, Rotate, back, switch, and we'll do 10 of those on each side. Getting the good rotation. Make sure. Awesome. Okay, good one. There we go. Uh, all right. And once we are done with those, I'm going to have us doing some sideline windmills. So what that's going to be, lying on your side, knees tucked, tracing the hand up, over, and around. We'll do five of those on each side. So just five.
Kind of getting some motion in this shoulder, stretching out the chest, stretching out the back. Really focusing on keeping that upper, my top hand as close as you can to the floor. All right, when you are done with those, I'm gonna have a stay on the floor here and we're gonna do some quick floor slides. Kind of get those upper upper back, that kind of rotator cuff muscles working. So we do some floor slides over elbows and our back for hand on the ground, we're sliding up and over our head. Keeping those elbows on the ground for as long as you can. Going up as high as you can over your head and then coming back down. We'll do 10 of those. 10 of those really quick, we'll see. I think I said five right at first, but I want 10. There we go. All right. All right, once we are done with those, I'm going to have us doing um, five plank to push ups on each side. So, for that, and this, you know, you'll be in your plank. Let me do one hand and then down. All right, so we'll do five of these on one side, four. And then five on the other side. So leading with the other hand. Whew. For some reason, reading, leading with the other hand is like a little more awkward for me. All right, so after you're done with five of those. I will have us come up to our feet. All right. All right, we'll do some overhead reverse lunges. So arms up, overhead, then reverse lunge. And we'll just do 10 of these. On each side, I really want you to emphasize getting those arms up and back, press back. Try, try not to cheat if you can. Try not to help it with the other hand. Try not to be doing this. We want to see them up and press back and if that's as high as you can get is like here that's as good as long as you're using your muscles to try to get those arms up there you go if you do these correctly these really do help a lot with posture which i know is kind of a big thing with you know like working at home sitting on the couch and or sitting in weird ways doing all your work all day i know over this quarantine, I've had weird instances where I'm like, wow, I usually don't have lower back pain or shoulder pain, and I kind of have lower back pain because um, I feel like I'm sitting down in weird ways all day. Um, awesome. Okay, done with those. After we're done with those, we'll get in our wide stance. We'll do lateral squats, nice and slow, and we'll do five of these on each side. Try not to try not to use your hands on your on your leg. Try to let the legs do the work um, so they can warm up. There we go. I think that's, I think that's five. All right, once we're done with those, I'm gonna have us do squat mobility drills. So, standing, a relatively wide stance for squat. Squat down, hand to the floor, stretch down, and up into an overhead squat. So.
And if these feel, if the overhead squat portion and these feel uncomfortable, that probably means you really, really, really need to focus on working on that. So definitely don't ignore these. If you're like, wow, I really don't like overhead squats. They kind of suck. Um, that's usually because that means you're probably the person who needs it most. So don't discount these, please. All right, so let's get 10 of these. I figure, you know, now that we're, we have these couple, had these couple months here on our last month of this, I, I hope um, that, you know, if we can kind of master all these really simple things like push up form or the, you know, kind of the overhead squat working on mobility, like stuff like that, that's, we can, it's easy to ignore once we're in the gym. Like if we can focus on that now, like, hey, we'll come back even stronger than what we left off. Um, Cool. All right. After that, we'll be doing single leg hops, front and back, each foot. So, all right. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, woo, four, five, six, seven, nine, and ten. All right. And then side to side. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we'll do 25 jumping jacks and then we'll get right into it. All right, awesome. All right, we are gonna get into this thing. So if you wanna grab a drink super quick or grab water near you, do that. All right, so like I was saying, we got five exercises here for five rounds through. All right, so let me see if I can get this set up. Okay, all right. All right, guys. So like I was saying, the timer is going to be 40 work, 40 or 40 work, 20 rest. Um, so if you don't have super heavy weights or you're not able to do it at a really high intensity, try your hardest to work that full 40 seconds. If you have heavy weights that are challenging you, it's okay if you stop at, you know, 30 work and, and then get 30 more seconds of rest um, because you worked, worked harder for that. Just push yourself um, for strength as much as you can. But obviously, if you can do that full 40 seconds, definitely do it. I'm going to be trying my best to do the full 40. Um, all right. Ooh, here we go. Starting here in 10. All right. Starting with our deadlifts. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. Trying to get that good hip hinge, keeping that back nice and flat. Shoulders back on these. People always say shoulders back, chest up. Um, so it's gonna kind of feel like you're popping off your chest a little bit. <sighs> yep, jamming those shoulders back and down as we're focusing on that hip hinge. And rest. Okay, next one is going to be that two-point row with a hold. All right. All right, two-point row with a hold. So get in your way. Three, two, one, and rows. Here we go. Squeeze. Here we go. And getting that road back as far as you can. 
All right. And that's halfway if you want to switch sides. And for these two, for that hold, um, the tighter in you squeeze your arm to your body, the harder your lats are going to work as well. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Rest. Oh, there we go. Nice. Um, Counting down a little louder now. That's great. Um, all right. After that, we're going to have that racked squat pause. So either that here or here. If you got two weights, so get in your weights. We're starting in five. Three. All two, right. Here we go. One. Go. Let's get the squat pause. Let's really try to have that pause at the bottom. As soon as we get to the top, coming back down into it. One, two, up, down. Mm, 10 more seconds. Three, there two, one, rest. Good. All right, now I was wondering we need our sliders, so get your sliders. Oh. We'll do our pike to pike position push up here. Whew. Three. All right, here two, we go. One, go. A pike to pike position push. If you want to make it harder, remember getting that hold, the one, two at the bottom of that push up. And if your shoulders aren't allowing for this, you can definitely do, you know, say like a kneeling push up or something like that too. Um, we are trying to work the vertical push, but. Um, woo. Three. Two, but working a push one, in general rest. is still definitely a couple awesome rest. All right, then our last one here is that get up, sit up. So get a weight if you need one. If you don't, that's cool too. All right, get up, sit ups. I'm gonna try to solve the halfway point. Three, two, one, go. Let's get it. And remember that hand that's up is on the same side as that knee that's up. I know that's a commonly forgotten thing. So yeah, the same side arm as your knee that's up. All right, and switch sides. Three, two. One, rest. I think I got about five on each side. Maybe one more if you're fast at these. All right, then we'll go back to the beginning. Back to our deadlift. All right. Whew. Oh, three, here we go. Two, one, go. And just like with the squats on these deadlifts, as soon as you get to the top, dropping right back down into the next rep. <sighs> Trying to use the productive parts of the motion as much as we can in terms of making us stronger. We're not getting stronger at the top of this. We're, we're getting stronger everywhere in between. <sighs> Woo. Three, two, one. Rest. All right. Excellent. All right, back to our rows. Okay. Five second warning. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, definitely pitch the elbow as tight as you can to your side. And if, even if you're past your side, really actively squeezing, it helps. 
We're just trying to get as much time under tension, halfway switch. Um, as much time under tension as we can get. Here we go, Carl, let's do that hold at the top. Yeah, there you go, nice. Three, two, rest. Woo. All right. All right, after that, rack squat pauses. Woo. Shake it all out. All right, five second warning. Three, two, one, go. One, two, These ones are hard to talk during. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Make sure this corner stay nice and tight. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Whew. All right, pike to pike push up. Oh. Oh, Three, two, Here we go. One, go. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. Oh, my goodness. All right. Get up, sit ups now. Let's fall harder than the first time there. Okay. All right, five seconds. Really use that elbow on the ground to your advantage. And switch sides. All right, that's round two down. All right, back into deadlifts for a start of round three. Woo! Make sure we're keeping our form perfect as we're doing these. Three, two. Make sure our core stays tight. Go. Back stays flat. <clears throat> Ten more seconds. Oh. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. All right. All right. Rows. Back to our rows. Oh, okay. I mean, like, kind of like to alternate with seven starting with two. Two, one, go. There we go. Two. 
and switch. Whew. This is kind of the point where I really start feeling my lat working hard. I could kind of feel them squeezing the first rounds, but now that you're squeezing them, it's a really feel challenge. Rest. There we go, good. Whew. All right, rack squat pauses. Oh, this is a hard one for me. Okay, five second warning. Three, two, one, go. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. There we go. Oh, man. Ah. Okay. All right, tight position push ups. Whew. Here Three, we go. Two, one, go. Once again, if you don't like that hold effect too hard, just go down and up. It'll be a little easier, easy, easier aggression if you just go right back up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. All right, get up, sit up. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. And switch. Three, two, one, rest. All right. And around three, two more rounds to go. Starting back with our deadlifts. Oh my goodness. Whew. Whew. All right, here we go, guys. Three, two, one, go. Core tight back flat. Taking that butt back. Three, two, one, rest. There we go. All right, back into rows. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good. 
and switch. Here you go. Good work. Three, Three two, two, one. Oh, rest. Excellent work. All right. Back to our squats. Oh, not looking forward to this round of them. Whew. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Well, that pause if you can. Last one. Three, two, one. There we go. All right. Pipe to pipe push ups. Three, two, one, go. Less than ten. Three, two, one. Rest. Oh, done with us. Good. All right, get up, sit up. Ooh. Remember, as these get harder, as your shoulders and core get more tight, don't be afraid Three, to do two, uh, body weight for these. Go. <laughs> All right, and switch sides. Those got real hard. All right, guys, last round. Final round of these. Whew. Starting with our deadlift again. Last time. Okay. All right, three, three two, one, go. Get in as much range of motion as you can while still keeping that back nice and flat. Especially in these later rounds. Back must stay flat if you have to stop early so that you're saving your back that is a okay. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. There we go. Done with deadlifts for the day. All right. Now we got rows. Three, two, All right, here we go. One, go. Oh, 
and switch. And remember, this weight's lighter than what you can normally go. Really squeeze those muscles. Really actively squeeze them. Because I can do about twice as much weight, but it feels just as hard to how much I'm squeezing. Here we go. Done. Okay. Whew. All right, squat pauses. Last time for these. Thank goodness. Ugh. All right. Here we go. Three. Two, one, go. Here we go. Way to hold at the bottom, guys. Nice job. Try to make sure we're nice and upright, too. Looks like we all are, but it's hard to see. <laughs> Last one. One. Rest. Nice. Done. Woo. All right. Oh. Okay. Bike push ups. Last round. Oh. Three. I don't think I could have done one more round after this. Halfway. Oh, that's never encouraging for these uh, ah. Three, two, one more. One, rest. Oh. All right, done. Well, that was the last round of get up sit ups. No. Oh. Starting on my weak side for these. Woo. All right, finish strong on these. Three, two, one, go. And switch. Oh. Oh, I can really keep the weight held in the air. Three, two, one, done. There we go. All right, guys. Excellent work. That is it. Five rounds. Great, Whew, great work.